of the uh, defense against the takedown. To start with, uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump into it. We could not keep them off. Our best efforts failed. Uh, they either got around us or they grabbed our clothing, which happens a lot, and we just can't shake them. We're going to go for the head push down. Works well when your opponent's low. So we're moving around here, whatever's going on, boom, 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 boom. Just take your hand and uh, find the back of their head here, and your other hand as well. And you can either push down this way or turn your hands to push down this way. I prefer this way, you have more control of the body choke point uh, from the reverse. Just uh, keep your uh, balance really, really wide again, your uh, stance, and go ahead and start pushing down on the head. Drive it all the Pop back up. What'd you do? See it goes? Drive it all the way to the floor. Go ahead and reclench. Drive it all the way to the floor, all the way down. And you can uh, usually break their grip if uh, they're still just relentlessly holding on to your ankle or most likely going to be your pant legs, or especially if they get up in the bottom of your pant leg. You can uh, step out of it going across their back, or you can drop a knee down onto their arm from this side. Just come on down and just pinch that arm. Grab them. Just bring it on down right here, pinch the arm, and that will knock that off. I'm uh, going to do that again one more time really slow. Let's do it from this side. You go in, get some uh, clothes grab, whatever you got. Get your wide stance immediately. Take your hands. She's over here on this side this time. So I'll just take both hands and lay them on this way. And just drive it straight to the ground. Really slow motion. Bring it right down. Now don't try to... Uh, Drag it back as you're backpedaling, because remember, they have a grip on you. You may lose your balance and end up falling. All right, one more time. Just come in. This time, it's in the center here. I'll get my balance back, my sprawl on. This time, I'm going to put my hands, the palms in like this. Go straight down. Drive all the way to the floor. And bend down at your knees while you're doing this. And as you can see, she's still got an arm on right here. I'm just going to cross leg out right here. I'm going to put my left knee across and I'm going to try and lay it on the uh, back of the forearm or bicep, doesn't matter which. Just come over here and cross out. And from there, obviously you can keep the pressure down on the head. And from there, after you cross out, just step back. Circle back out. Take their back. Well, you know, whatever you want to do from there. Now we'll try it a few times in a uh, live scenario. You just come in with a clinch. She's got in. You keep on going for the takedown. I'm moving around. I found the head. Just shove it down. She fell out that time. That was good for me. I didn't have to worry about the clinch. Good thing about wearing shorts, huh? They can't get onto those pants. <laughs> One more time. The uh, advantages of getting really, really good at being able to keep them off of you, or even if you get clenched, to get out of it and just not hitting the ground with them, is is it completely exhausting. Do you agree or not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you continually get blocked from uh, trying your takedown and you just can't get it and you can't get it and you can't get it, you will really start to suck some wind. Okay, now we're going to be going over the uh, chin lift. This one here is also another one of my favorites. No matter how they come in at you here, low, boom, you can, instead of this time going down with the head, just go underneath. Put your palm down, put your hand in, and all you're going to be doing is hooking it right underneath their chin. And as they're trying and struggling really hard, when you pull up on this chin, they lose all power. You can pull up on the chin. Uh, I'll just show the chin lift right quick for a few, uh, uh, another slow time. And then I'll show this is left side. And uh, just lift up on the chin. And when you get it right to this point, to where you obviously have no more power, you can change your hands. See, I'm lifting like this. Move all this out of the way. I'm lifting like this, but as soon as you get it up high enough, 
you can just pivot your hand around so you can continue the push like this just to pivot like this boom going right here get the pivot in and you can just push on back and get them off of you that way when you're uh, next crank like that all of your arm strength even your grip you will lose that let's try the uh, I guess one more uh, slow time right quick like this right here reach down through pull up and push back just to get them off of you now let's do it uh, live one time coming for the takedown reaching under All right, this side very effective because when your head gets twisted back you will lose your grip one more time from let's see let's try it from this side all right opponents got you uh, all clenched up here you need to remember uh, obviously keep your balance low keep low to the ground that's bending the knees a little bit. If you feel a lift starting to come, just fully sink your weight. Uh, anyone who ever held a baby knows this. When they want down, they become 50 pounds heavier by just sinking their weight. You can do the same thing. Uh, make them uh, work more by basing a lot of weight on them as they're trying to drag you around. Uh, let's see. That's about it for that. We're going to get into some uh, live sparring now learning the takedowns that we've learned and learning the takedown defenses that we've learned. Ended up going that time for a <laughs> back outside sweep. Ended up going having to go for the headlock, uh, hip toss, which I do don't like, but it happens sometimes.
sneaky little ankle pick. Okay, that one wasn't really covered, but I've seen the opportunity. 